Debate. I'm Barry Ashenhurst for New Farm Machinery Magazine. We're in sunny Queensland where this morning it was about minus one. Anyway, we're here to test the Polaris Ute, a machine that Polaris says was designed specifically for the Australian market. Okay, let's go and find out. Polaris says the Ute 570 is like a combination of a regular ATV and a farm Ute. They claim it's revolutionary as well, but that's going too far. When you get down to it, what we have here is an almost standard Sportsman 570 with a rear dump box. I say almost standard because Polaris made the ute tougher than a standard Sportsman. That's because Australian farmers are harder on their equipment than American farmers. Geez, Reggie, that was close. Anyhow, apparently we give our gear a right royal flogging. We're not that fussed about regular maintenance either. Hard to believe, I know. So Polaris sent engineers down here to find out what on earth we were doing to their gear and what the factory could do so their quads would survive the pounding we were giving them. It turned out there were several things they could do and Polaris being Polaris, they went ahead and did it. The Australian 570 got sealed and gruisable ball joints. It got sealed drive shaft splines, sealed suspension bushings, four ply tyres and of course that 180 kilogram capacity dump box. All the controls are familiar too, they haven't changed anything. The ute itself doesn't feel any longer or wider than a standard sportsman. There's a bit of vibration from the tailgate but nothing that'll frighten the girls. There's not a lot of vibration from the engine though, and engine braking is pretty good in high range even without auto descent control. This engine has nice controllable power, especially at low speeds when you're riding over tricky stuff. The single stage power steering is light. Some will think it's too light, but we like it. A good thing about this power steering is that it's totally electrical. You can turn off the engine and still have power steering. That's handy and a valuable safety feature if you have to get off the quad and turn around and go back down on a real nasty hill. Torque is abundant, and we reckon there's enough top end speed for anyone. The 570 did seem a little thirsty, we'd have to say, possibly because the unit we tested wasn't fully run in. This model doesn't talk to you much with the diff locks engaged. Polaris might have done something to the steering geometry too, because the ute doesn't understeer much either. Another characteristic that makes the Polaris so capable on rough terrain is its drive system, which engages and disengages all-wheel drive really smoothly. You don't feel a thing. The Polaris Ute retails for 10,000 bucks. There aren't that many full-size quads with rear dump boxes, so maybe you better get in and check this one out. And look for a full report on the Ute in the next issue of New Farm Machinery magazine.